please cut the bullshit. A lot of people can't even tell the difference between this and the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom. And some people actually told me, I spent actually a while today talking to a lot of people on Facebook. They were telling me, look, X, believe it or not, I think the Mavic 2 Zoom footage a day looks better than this in the day. And I'm not surprised. And I can't tell anyone what looks nicer from what doesn't. I can share my personal thoughts on what I think from basically what I look like, what I look at. But that doesn't mean that they have to agree. And some people actually think the Zoom's footage is better than this. Can I blame them? No, because let me tell you why. And it goes back to my original story. I've been saying this from day one. DJ, I plan to make the Mavic 2 Zoom. That was supposed to be the next Mavic released to everybody else. This came about from all the members in the Facebook groups, the Mavic Facebook groups who said, please DJI, do something about the low light footage. Do something about the low light footage. It's grainy. It looks horrible. It looks crazy. They've never really complained about the daytime footage. They've complained about the gimbal not being sturdy and strong. And last time I checked DJI fixed that, but they weren't complaining, complaining about the daytime footage. Now the one inch sensor obviously gives you a little bit more dynamic range, a little bit more details. And those things are hard to notice in the day for two reasons. One, unless your eye is trained, meaning you actually sit down and you do a lot of editing and a lot of comparisons and you're a very detailed oriented person, you're not going to catch those details. That's number one. That means if you're a hobbyist, it doesn't really matter. You're not gonna see much of a difference. Whatever looks nice in your eyes, that's what you're gonna pick up on. But if you really wanna get down to the detail, look at any one of these two comparison footages and I'll leave a link here for those that I did in the daytime and pause them and just look at them. Look at the trees between this and the zoom. Yes, the zoom has a nice, brighter, little uh, more effect to it but look at the details look at what you can see clearly in the zooms footage compared to the pros footage and then you'll see the difference just maybe depending on how detail oriented you are so that's number one number two reason that people are not going to really see much of a difference is because these videos these drone clips play for one two three four seconds and then it's gone and most of the time I've been posting pictures, I've been posting little video clips and mostly pictures in all different Facebook groups asking people, which drone is this? Which drone is this? Guess what? Most people don't even know. Most people were calling the Mavic 2 uh, Pro's photos the Phantom 4 Pro and vice versa. And the daytime shots, people were calling the Phantom 4 Pro a zoom shot. And they were calling this, the, the Mavic 2 Pro shot the zoom and the Phantom 4 Pro. People can't really tell the difference. The average hobbyist really can't tell the difference. And even some intermediate to pro people can't even tell the difference unless you put something side by side for them to compare. What does that mean, guys? It means an artist will be creative, whether you have the original Mavic, whether you have the Zoom, whether you have the Pro. As far as I'm concerned, the daytime footage looks very similar and this drone was not made to blow away the daytime footage. It was made for flying at night. This is what everybody in the Facebook groups have been asking for, to fly at night. Now you have it. And I don't know why there's so many people out there critiquing, bashing, running these random crazy tests that are inconclusive on this drone. When you can look at the actual footage that it produces and compare it side by side, not on the ground when they fly because these things were built to fly so when you're going to test it please test it in the air because that's where they belong today i'm doing my usual sunday browsing going through youtube seeing what's the latest and the mavic 2 and then i bump across these videos from original dobo uh, Phantom, uh, some Phantom 101 guy or something like that. Can't remember his name. I'll leave a link in the description section to both videos in the description. 
moral of the story i'm watching these two videos and these two videos are linked to another guy's video that's half an hour long so i sit down i take the half an hour and i watch these tests between these two drones and some other drones like the zoom the guy puts the chart up on the wall he spaces the drone different areas apart because they have different fields of view so now one drone is further than the other and comes to a conclusion that one of these two drones in particular this one comes to a conclusion that this drone is line skipping the one in sensor is line skipping look I'm not saying it isn't. I'm not saying it is. I'm not an expert. All I'm saying is if you're going to position one drone in front and one at the back, don't expect to get accurate results when you zoom in. That's all I'm saying. Right? And he did it indoors and he did it outdoors where he had two markers and he positioned each drone where he had to move it back or forward so that the field of view will fall exactly within those two markers and he did his test not fair if you're going to test these two cameras if they have different field of views well then guess what they have two different field of views you have to live with it you have to position both at the same point and do your test from the same point otherwise number one i'm not buying it number two you did not discuss focusing and how you handle focusing there could have been a focusing issue there so all i'm saying is those tests are inconclusive i'll leave a link below for that video too but that's my two cents from what i take away from it and on top of that i'm a practical guy you can hit me with all the numbers and all of the stuff that's all fine and dandy but when i launch this and i launch this at the exact same time guess what what you see on the screen don't lie okay guys that's it i'm done ranting once again i'd like to take a quick moment thank my sponsors for giving me the mavic 2 pro and the mavic 2 zoom to unbox test and share these videos with you guys so head over to my description section i will leave the links to them it is madmixtube.com and autonomous drone services please click on the links check them out guys if you're not a patron become a patron because i will be giving away six of these dji mavic 2 pros on my youtube channel here all you have to be is a patron and that means you have to contribute one dollar a month one dollar a month and you earn yourself a chance to win one of these six dji mavic 2 pros that i'll be giving away as soon as i hit my patreon threshold guys i'll leave some links uh, in the description section where you can check these drones out buy them and it also helps to support my channel if that's something you're interested in doing and the content and the work that i put in to bring these conclusive take it to the bank videos guys because the footage does not lie and last but not least guys i keep saying this whether you have the original mavic pro you have the mavic 2 zoom you have the mavic 2 pro you have the phantom 4 pro it all boils down to your creative artwork everybody's talking about what this can do what that can do and the guys just go out there and fly create paint be the artist that you were meant to be doesn't matter so much what you fly because most people can't tell the difference anyway so just go out there and create and share guys i hope this video was helpful please do like hit subscribe and all of that fun stuff and share this video to anyone that you hear talking nonsense about the mavic 2 pro this is your boy drone x factor and i've got to be testing the anafi